Hey everybody, how is everything going? I got the roof vent installed today and I got the solar panels hooked up and the roof gland right up there is uh, with the wires and then I run the wires and then brought them down right over there. This wire that's kind of hanging down in the middle, I don't know what that goes to yet, but I'm, as soon as I figure out what it is, if I can get rid of it, that wire is going to be cut out of there. Anyway, I had to take out the roof on the inside of the van so I could see where to put things. And I'm glad I did because I didn't realize this top had wooden supports. And if I had centered it exactly like I wanted, I'd have cut through two supports. As it was, I had to cut through one. Now I got real lucky that this is a fiberglass topped van. And I'll show you why. Because I was able to use a skill saw. Grab this piece. I was able to use a skill saw to cut through the fiberglass roof and the supports instead of a, a like a jigsaw and it made easier it was easier drilling into it and I uh, put the gland in on the roof for the solar wires I don't know if you can see it let me zoom in Hope you can see it. It's charging. It's at 12.7 volts. It was 12.6 a little while ago. The panels are charging. Let me get this out of zoom in because it gets real jumpy. And I'll climb up here and I'll show you the oh. I know. Sorry I'm making you seasick. And there's the roof vent from the top. Static clink's got a little dust on it. And there's the roof gland. And I die cord it all in. And it's got putty tape underneath the edges, just like all the videos show. I zip tied everything. I gotta find my, I have some uh, Eternabon tape. And I don't know what I set, where I set it, so I gotta find it so that I can tape those wires down. I don't want them slapping against the roof of the, roof of the van going down the road. I got them zip tied pretty good, but I still want to put a couple of little pieces of tape. And here's the panels. I'm leaning on one. Well, not really leaning on it. I'm leaning on the edge. But. So I've got 400 watts of solar charging the batteries. Yay me. I'll get me get down from here before I fall and hurt myself. Because you all know how graceful I am. <sighs> Not. <laughs> okay. I'm down. <sighs> I've got four batteries down there. They're 100 amp hours each. They're AGM batteries. They fit in the bottom of that thing perfectly. I can actually still use that drawer. <sighs> which is really awesome. On the bottom shelf here is going to be my electrical stuff. i got to put my inverter in there and the fuse panel and the switches and all that kind of stuff but at least we got it working now i can actually hook something to the battery and run it even if i had to hook a pigtail to that ceiling fan and run it with a couple alligator clips i could at least get fan so until i get everything else hooked up i got to get me a bigger inverter because all i have is an 800 watt and that's a 1200 watt toaster oven and my my microwave is a 700 watt but i haven't tested it yet to make sure that that inverter will run it but whether it does or doesn't that's the only one i have so if it don't run it i'll just be carrying around a microwave and a toaster oven that i can't use right now and i was going to get the bed put in today but i didn't get it done i was so busy doing this other stuff i figured i'd better make the big mess going through the ceiling until before I put my bed in so I wouldn't have to like clean off my bed right and then I'll clean the floor tomorrow and then I'll put something down on the floor I've got a rug um, but I don't have the means to do it fancy like all other kinds of people do it so I'll just have to work on it we're working on it <laughs> anyway I'm very pleased with myself right now I'm very proud of myself for getting that in there. It was a little nerve-wracking, cutting a hole through the roof, thinking, oh, God, I hope I don't mess up. Uh, 
but I didn't and the hole fit and everything was fine now the uh, roof had a slight bow to it so the edges on the left and the right side weren't completely touching when I set it down in there there was about at least a quarter of an inch gap but I sucked it down anyway with the screws carefully so I wouldn't break the flange and uh, and then die cord it really well so uh, lap sealant you know this stuff right here that's the stuff self-leveling lap sealant I've used almost a, well two, at least two-thirds of that tube on that roof right there I didn't want it to leak but it has to sit there for like what 24 hours or something like that to really harden up and I waited to do this until we had didn't have any rain in the forecast for the next couple of days and it's going to be nice and hot, and it'll cure, and we'll be good to go. I'm kind of sorry I had to cut the roof out, but it did give me some more headroom because I had to take out those panels and then that piece of plywood that they had right there. Uh, I might be able to reuse that somewhere else, or at least parts of it. And I know I'm, I'm going to go back in with something else. I haven't decided what, so we'll figure that out when we get there. I just had to get a fan and I needed to get electric so I could charge my stuff. So, like my phone and my headlamp and, and you know, run a light if I need to. But anyway, guys, if you'd give this a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. It sure helps with the algorithm. Share it with your friends. Comment, please. Um, and y'all come back to see me. Oh, I will have more videos on the bed and stuff coming probably tomorrow.